<laughs> Did I tell you that I got, um, whoa, what the hell? What the? Oh, it's a fly on the camera. Yes, it is. Go away. <laughs> Hello friends! Hello friends! <laughs> Since we started last week's with the very creepy hello friends as well from me, I'm going to make that my thing now. <laughs> Why not? Anyway, <sighs> so we're back. It's another week. Um, yes, I still suck at posting things. I get it. You can stop messaging me now. Um, Don't yeah. stop messaging her. Just keep, you know, telling her. Yes, I suck. Me. I've actually edited everything. This is the only video I'm going to have left to edit when we finish filming it tonight, so I should be back on schedule this week. Most of the problem is that I get lazy and don't edit anything. So, anyway, uh, on to this week's cheese posties. Ooh. I'm very hungry. And I ate, ate today and everything. I'm also wow. very hungry, so it has been a long time since I'm glad you ate today. Does today count if it was before I went to bed, though? Yeah. At sort of. 6.30 this morning. No. <laughs> okay, so I haven't eaten today. <laughs> She's a child to me sometimes. Yes, I am. And a mum friend. There, there's, a, there's this Tumblr post of the types of friends. And it's mum friend, sister friend and dad friend. She's mum friend. Because she just wants to take care of everyone. I'm sister friend because I will beat the shit out of anyone that upsets my friends. And Stevie's dad my friend. <clears throat> yeah. Please. I keep saying, you know. Yeah. I have crutches. But yeah. And then Stevie's the dad friend. Because she doesn't do sympathy, but she does take in your mind off it and puns. So. Um. I've completely forgot what I was talking about. Posties! Posties! Cheese posties. I'll put these rooms up Yeah. Yeah. Cheese posties. Yep. I'm, I'm a genius. No, I'm not. <laughs> yes, you are. Aww. Anyway, it's your turn to post this week. So. A box of mystery. Watch the side. Oh, well, we had this one. And it's bacon jam again. Yeah, but at least you had a week off from the bacon jam. Green bacon jam, the pig magnifique. We we have, like I said last week, they're doing repeats a lot at the moment because they're doing lots of new flavours and things. So we are going to get some repeats. And on weeks when they do repeats, we'll figure something else out to do to entertain you all. I did not mean for that to sound quite as suggestive as it did. <laughs> We're not doing that. She does not do the butt stuff. <laughs> I don't do the anything stuff. You'll let me waterboard you, uh, waterboard you once. <laughs> you said waterboard, I'm a little bit concerned. <laughs> I've, I've not even written torture this week. I've got no excuse for that Freudian slip. <laughs> okay, then I can leave the shin when I run the fuck away. <laughs> <laughs> Well, <laughs> if I'm not here next week, please call the police. <laughs> what have I got? I've got something that I've not had before. Ooh. Did you have this one? I think so. Yeah, I think yeah. you did. No, I didn't. This is a new one then. Ooh. Ooh. This is the apple pie. Ooh. How close can I get it? Hey, there we go. Yeah, we hadn't had that one because I'm excited about cinnamon. Yeah, there, we've had one with cinnamon that was yours. Happened? Yeah, but I don't think it was this one. I don't think I had one with cinnamon. I remember cinnamon. I, I remember you getting excited about cinnamon. It might have been one my mum made, though. Probably. I love cinnamon. She really does. Every drink I ever make has to have a liberal dollop of cinnamon in it. You know what's amazing? <laughs> Go on. Jelly babies have cinnamon flavour, yes. and they're like, they take your tonsils off. I would if I could, but I can't have jelly babies because of the gelatin. So yeah, this is applesauce, cinnamon and red Leicester. And it tastes like unconditional happiness. I wish we could all use more of in our lives. Definitely. No matter how much happiness we have already. Yep. Most of my happiness hinges on the Leeds Rhinos and fictional characters. So, you know, I'm probably not the healthiest example of that. I think that's about the kinds of things most people's happiness is actually fixed on. The tiny inconsequential every yeah. day. 
a lot of people do have things about rugby and football and yeah. I don't understand football. It's just boring. Mm. Sorry to any football fans out there, but I don't like any sports. I'm not anyway, sorry, so. my ex was a football fan. Not sorry, I've been to so many football games. Your sport's boring as shit. <laughs> Come watch a proper sport. Come on, I'll take you along to a Rhinos game. She would and all. I really would. I keep saying that I'm going to take her. Haven't yet. She's making me go to a gig, though. I am making me go to a gig. In May, I'm going to vlog it and everything. You're going to love it. <clears throat> It'll be hilarious. It's only a little gig. It's at the Deaf Institute, so it's not like a huge gig. Have you ever been to a little gig? No, I've been to that one Spice Girls gig, and that's at it. This is going to be an interesting experiment. <laughs> there is like 600 tickets for this thing sold, and yeah, it's not a big gig. Yeah, it's out to the one, <coughs> the MEN, which is massive. Yeah. Yeah, that's like nearly a thousand times as big as this place. And Depending on what year it was, nearly 10,000 times. Probably. And I'm not very into music, so... And I'm quite into music. I'm quite into everything, to be honest. Helen was asking before how I had time to do everything. I've got no idea. And I got into knitting. She did. So now I sit and knit and watch terrible TV shows. Anyway, let's go make these toasties. Bye. Bye. We're back. Hello. I filmed all of us cooking and it's like ridiculously boring. So it wasn't that boring. That's pretty boring. We didn't talk about a blue bottle of the oh, Brian, Brian Blessed. Brian Blessed the blue bottle in. Yeah. Anyway, so I had a mishap with mine because the bread was super fucking thin. So it when she butted one side it stuck to the plate. Because it was ridiculously thin. And it was falling apart before that. So anyway. Uh, but it didn't burn. So anyway. You should go first. Because you've tried before. But mm -hmm. see it's so good. I can taste his cheese. I think this is the best of the bacony sandwiches. Because the breeze is subtle enough, you can actually taste the bacon. Mm. And it gives it a kind of lovely, gooey squishiness. It's like you're just eating squishy, gorgeous bacon, which who doesn't like that apart from vegetarians and people who don't like bacon? And people who don't like squishy things. Well, people who don't like squishy things are probably not watching the show. Mm. All I can taste in this is cheese. Mm. It's the wrong cheese for this. And it, Red Leicester's not my favourite cheese, so it's actually mm. one of my least favourite cheeses. So. Oh, that's it. It's not bad. I don't dislike it. But... There's a big blob of apple on this bit, and still all you can taste is the cheese. So this is, okay, kind of, brown cheese. This would have needed a really weak sort of cheese. This mm. would actually have gone really well with like a mascarpone. Mm. Yeah, a soft cheese. Oh. It's not terrible. <laughs> it's pretty much the best I can say. What's your rating? 2.5. If I'd have known the cheese was going to overpower it this much, I would have only used half of the cheese. But. Mm. 
sure I... That's really nice. <laughs> I think we're gonna get takeout this week though. I've been quite hungry though, so maybe, yeah. Well, I promised mum I'd get takeout. So sorry that this one's really sucky and that it was not a great sandwich. Just as proof for like only the second time ever I've actually left a bit. Wow. So. Alright. I ate it? most of it. That's a curl up on the sofa and watch it. Yeah, right. Anyway, so we're going to go curl up on the sofa and watch it. Um, and we will see you... Well, you'll see us on Wednesday, because we've I've got last week's Wednesday episodes post. Um, but you'll see us on Friday. Bye! Bye.